negative 4 or negative mu. Next, we have the denominator. Sabi niya, x factorial or in our case, that is 1 factorial. Lagyan niya ng ganito para ma baka malito kayo. Ayan, 1 factorial. Plus, yung p of 2 natin. We have mu na 4. No, for ang mu natin, average breakdown niya, raised to x, which is in our case, 2 naman na siya, multiplied to e, constant value of e raised to negative 4, all over x, uh, denominator natin na x factorial, which is, in our case, that will be 2 factorial. So, 2 factorial. Walang kahirap-hirap to guys, if you are familiar with your calculator na... probability distribution. Again, this is called Poisson probability distribution. No, not Poisson. Iba yun. Uh, nakakalungkot lang. Nak nakanood ako ng, ng, ng lecture before. No, feature siya ng mat. Pero nag, ang tawag niya is Poisson. Medyo nakakalungkot lang. It, 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 is, it is actually called as Poisson, guys. For your information. So, Poisson probability distribution. What is, what is this naman, no? When we say Poisson probability distribution, this is a probability distribution on a discrete random variable that has a large number of applications. So, applied to an experiment with random and independent occurrences, so almost the same with the binomial. Pero dito, ang pinaka-difference talaga nila, si binomial, dalawa lang yung possible answer, no? success or failure, true or false, yes or no, then kukunin mo na yung probability. Itong sa Poisson, hindi lang dalawa, pwedeng mas marami pa, na 3 or more. Na yun yung pinagkaiba nila. And by formula, Poisson probability distribution is actually the, ang, ang symbolism niya, no, ang pagating sa mathematical equation, that is, P of X equals X. Yung isa maliit, yung isa yung malaki. Eh, is equals to the mu wherein yung mu natin is the mean number of occurrences in a particular interval of time. So, I, I know you're familiar with mu already. Raised to x, which is the x is the number of occurrences. In our case, that is the occurrence na success, yung resulta. Multiplied to the value of e. This e, guys, I hope you're familiar with this. This is a constant number, approximately 2.71828. If you have your calculator, you can you can click the ln button. The ln button has actually the second function of e. So for you to be able to see that 2.71828 in the calculator, just click the button shift plus the button LN. Now, it will give you the letter E on your screen. Then, click the equal sign. No? So, ayan. Click the, click the equal sign. That will have uh, an answer of 2.71828. Ayan. Ang exponent, by the way, if hahanapan kayo ng calculator na exponent for the E, lagay nyo lang 1. Lalabas nyan 2.71828. No, constant yan. And, ang exponent natin will be mu, pero this time negative. No, ito siya, negative mu. All over x factorial. So, again, factorial is you are multiplying the given number hanggang sa pinakamaliit na number. Alimbawa, that is 5. 5 factorial equals, equals 4 times 3, equals 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. No? Ganun siya, Okay. So, for the example, let's have here the problem regarding the vintage car no, as the example problem natin for this distribution. So, a vintage car daw, nag-break down siya on average of 4 times per month. Ngayon, may binigay ka agad na average of 4 times per month. Ibig sabihin, kung yun yung average na 4 times per month, lagay na natin before ko ituloy yung problem. Dahil may binigay na, no, lagay na natin ng given, that is considered as mu. No, mu means mean. Mean is average. So, yun na yun. Madali nang makita, no, 4 times per month. Ang unit niya, ng measure niya is yung uh, frequency niya, no, per month. 
using the, pro the Poisson probability distribution formula, find the probability daw, hanapin natin yung probability, that, the during, that during the next month, this vintage car will have A and B na lang natin ito, A and B, exactly 3 breakdowns, at most 2 breakdowns. So again, almost the same to sa problem natin ng ano, ano, ng binomial. Sabi doon, una is exactly 3 breakdown. So, this means na P is equivalent to X na no, exacto 3. Ito naman, at most 2 eh. So, meaning to say kapag at most 2, pinakamarami na yung dalawa. So, P is X is pinakamarami yung dalawa. So, less than or equals to 2. Sagad na to. Hindi siya ano ah, baka mag baka gawin nyo greater than or equals to 2 kasi sir pinakamarami hindi kasi kapag ganun ginawa nyo greater than or equals to 2 that means 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 pataas no? and sabi dito at most 2 eh pinakamarami na yung dalawa so dapat less than or equals to 2 para 2, 1 or 0 pwedeng walang breakdown pwedeng isang breakdown pwedeng dalawang breakdown next month no? ayun yung ibig nyo sabihin so let's sige Let's start, no? Let's start the computation. Again, for us to be able to start, we'll rewrite natin yung formula. P of x equals x. Kaya naging dalawa yung x dito. Pero same lang naman yun sa P of x sa isa. No, ng binomial. Para hindi lang kayo malito, no? I'm explaining on a very detailed manner. So, rewrite natin. Let's have here mu raised to x multiplied to e raised to negative mu all over x factorial. So, simple lang naman ang formula for Poisson. Okay? So, for letter A, exactly 3 breakdown. So, let's have here letter A, P of x equals 3. Mu natin is 4. No, yun yung given. 4. X natin is 3. So, 4 raised to 3 multiplied sa E. Again, this is constant value. 2.718281828 raised to negative mu or negative 4 in our case muntik na ka mag mu no? <laughs> ayan negative 4 over x natin is 3 3 factorial so 4 raised to 3 pwede nyo na itong idiretso sa calculator no this will give us a value of 0 0.1954 or in percentage this is 19.54% ibig sabihin hindi ganun kataas yung probability no Hindi ganun kataas yung, yung probability na eksakto tatlong beses masisira yung vintage car. When we say vintage car, ito parang makaluma na, ano, na kotse. So, eksakto, kaya madalas na siyang masira. Eksakto tatlong breakdown, mababa yung probability, 19.54%. No, hope you get it. So, for the letter B, let's have here P of X less than or equals to 2. So, again, this is equivalent to P of 0, P of 1, and P of 2. No, I hope na, ano, na nakakuha ninyo. Madali lang naman. Pwede na nga natin i-diretso eh. Gusto nyo diretso na natin. Kasi may ikili lang naman yung formula. I-plus plus na natin. Sige, ganun na lang gawin natin para shortcut. So, less than or equals to 2. P of 0, diretso natin. No, P of 0 tayo. 0 ang ang magiging ang natin x no, so mu natin is 4 tapos sin 0 nga ito 0 yung exponent dyan multiplied to e no, raised to negative mu or negative 4 all over yung ating x no, tapos ipa factorial natin or 0 factorial ayun na yun ayun na yung value ng p of 0 i plus na natin sa value ng p of 1 that will be 4 raised to x, which is in our case, that will be 1, multiplied to e raised to negative 4 or negative mu. Next, we have the denominator, sabi niya, x factorial or in our case, that is 1 factorial. Lagyan natin ng ganito para ma baka malito kayo. Ayan, 1 factorial plus yung p of 2 natin. We have mu na 4. No, for ang mu natin, average breakdown niya, raised to x, which is in our case, 2 naman na siya, 
multiplied to e constant value of e raised to negative 4 all over x, uh, denominator natin na x factorial which is in our case that will be 2 factorial so 2 factorial walang kahirap-hirap to guys if you are familiar with your calculator na na two liner up no, wag kayong gagamit ng calculator na pang tindahan no <laughs> hindi hindi epekto yun sa engineering so ano lang tayo yung yung kaso scientific so kahit idiretso na, na yan bibigyan niya tayo ng sagot na 23.81% so binigay niya na yan natin ito ito check natin dito na dito ko na lang tagay Ayan, binigay niya na ang sagot. 23.81% I-add mo lang yan lahat. 23.81% Ibig sabihin, balikan natin yung problem. 81% Meaning, no, pinakamarami na yung dalawa, ah, ayun, mas maliit. Kasi kanina, sa letter A, 19.54. Lagay natin dito, no? 19.54% Kapag exacto tatlo. Nung trinay natin, mas mababa sa tatlo, dalawa, pababa, hanggang zero, 23%. Ibig sabihin, maliit lang yung chance, ha, na marami yung uri, or marami uri, tuloy, maraming times mauulit yung breakdown ng vintage car natin. No, so, I hope na na-realize ninyo kung paano sinasolve si Poson distribution.